Screw catching jellyfish today, I'm catching clowns! Hey guys, Multiclassic Gamer here, welcome back to more Let's Play Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. In the previous episode, we... what the fuck? I'm not gonna pay attention to that. I'm not... I mean, I'm not gonna try and, like, figure out what the heck that's all about. Anyways, in the last episode, we took on, um, basically the car... no. No, we took on Chumput, and then we got started here at the Big Top. In this episode, we're going to be taking on the upper area of the Big Top. Because pretty much, um, in the previous episode, we basically start off by clearing the floor of the Big Top. And now, we're going to be making our way to the very top, where I th believe our very last layer tile is lying. But I'm not going to spoil anything. Well, actually, I probably already spoiled it, but whatever. Um... <clears throat> So basically, start off this trek to the top of the big top. You basically want to jump into this cannon, and you want to... Now, you're supposed to have a reference... There is a reference point here on where you're supposed to fire. Basically, you want to land on that platform right there, okay? That I'm putting the crosshair on. But it's kind of difficult how to, you know, how to get yourself up there without... You know, it's kind of... You know, it's kind of difficult how this whole cannon thing works. But basically, what I do is I aim directly at that hook right up there, because that will get you right where you need to get to. So simply shoot at the hook, and that will get you right here on the platform itself. So, very useful, works very well. Pretty much uh, hooks are one are pretty much every time you go into a can this game, there's always some, some kind of reference point you have that you can shoot at that will get you to, play, to the spot where you're trying to go. And so, Pretty much, that's what you're going to be doing on top of using basically a bunch of hooks to get to the top of the big top. So it can be, it can be quite adventure, as you can see, by look on SpongeBob's face. And look, again, with those carries in the audience, oh my god. So many Garys who could be rescuing instead of the one that's been captured by the Flying Dutchman. You know, screw that one, you know. No, I'm just kidding. That's the real Gary that we know and love, so we have to go rescue him. He's not just some kind of animation in the background, you know. That's just some stupid audience that has no purpose whatsoever besides to go, YAY! At like totally random times as you're making your way to the top of the big top. And um, actually, um, <coughs> the funny thing is that if you fall, if you get like really high enough to the top of the big top, if you fall all the way down, they will boo and hiss at you. And it's pretty, pretty amusing to hear that. Like, I'm actually gonna try. I'm gonna try and make, get them to do that, you know, just once we get to the top. Because the thing is that even once you get to the top and get the layer tile when you're getting all the way down, they will still most likely boo and hiss at you, which is really, really funny. So I'm gonna try and get them to do that in this episode so that you guys can hear it because it's pretty funny actually. Well, they don't really hiss at you, but they, but they basically like they go make the <laughs> sound with their tongues and why? They do. God, that was so odd. Hey look, 300 doubloons, alright. I'm still sticking with the idea that there's 314 doubloons total in Chum World, and I'm pretty sure that's true. I mean, that's a number that I remember for whatever reason. I don't know why 314 is such a memorable number for me. And look, we got some clowns here to defeat. Nice. <clears throat> what are these clowns anyway? Is they supposed to be like glow glowfish or something? I don't know. They're certainly not clownfish, that's for sure. Because clownfish are like orange and white, basically. Anyone who watches Finding Nemo would know that, obviously. What are you thinking, man? No, the real clowns, clownfish, are those guys with the purple, you know, backs and the white faces and the, you know, the whatever. Just the whatever, basically, you know? Because that's your essential to being a clown is a whatever, you know? You gotta be wearing a whatever all over you or something. I don't know. I'm being stupid today, that's what I'm doing. Okay, this thing is really annoying. See right there. See, you have to get onto that thing and somehow stay on it, and get all the way to the back to the end of that gap there. And I have no idea what the trick is to trick is to doing that. For me, it's just getting lucky is basically the only way to do that. So, um, yeah, we're basically gonna have to try that again. Which is annoying, but whatever. At least you don't have to go too far just to get back to it. Because it just... If you fall off it, you don't really fall that far. So that's the only good thing about this. But still, it's really annoying just trying to get this thing to work. 
My belief is that you're supposed to stay on the very, very edge of it right here. Yeah, but right there. Okay. So yeah, I guess that's what you're supposed to do, is just stay on the edge of it. And once you get over here, you're pretty much at the very top of the big top. Because, guess what's over there? Yep, the letter tile that I did not, definitely did not spoil. And also over here is what I believe is the last jellyfish in Chum World. It could be wrong, and I hope I'm not, because I don't want to go searching all the way through Chum World just to get find one jellyfish. But let's see, it's a green jellyfish, so we got to sneak up on it. It's like usual. Like usual. Alright, it says 40 jellyfish to see if it's all of them. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, wait, no, I was wrong. That's not the last... Of course, it's not the last other tile of the Chum World. It's actually... It's actually the one that we cannot get yet, basically. But, let's pretend this is the last one. So, here we go. Um, let's get... Hit this... Yeah, you have to aim at this target, basically. That's the whole reason that it's there. And there you go. So, um... Now that we are in the spotlight, literally, it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. Here it goes. God, I hope they do it. I hope they do it. Oh, wait. Just make sure you guys hear it. I'm going to turn down the music here. Let's turn it down to two. Just for just for a moment. I'll, I'll turn it back up once we, once we get past this. Okay, here we go. Ready? It's time for suicide! Yes! Yes, I did it! Yay, I made them boo and hiss! That's the most satisfying thing ever. It's also the stupidest thing ever. Or actually, the stupidest thing ever is this. Like, what the f fudge monkeys is this? Okay. Um, so, basically, that's it, everyone. That is Chum World, believe it or not. We are officially done with Chum World, with the exception of the mission that we cannot do yet. And you will not be able to do that mission until literally after after you clear clear the next world. Yeah, I know it's stupid, but whatever, you know. It's fine by me. That means that Chum World will be the second to last world we be in the game, even though it's not really the second to last world in the game. The real second to last world in the game is Goolagoon. And I'm not gonna spoil what the real last world of the game is, because I'll leave you I'll leave you guys up to that if you want I'll leave that up to you guys if you want to find out for yourselves, which is by watching this Let's Play, obviously. So, with that, everyone, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Chum World. And also say goodbye to me forgetting to put the music back up, so here we go. There we go. I bet you guys missed the Chum World music, probably not, because we've been hearing it over and over again for the past um, two episodes or so. Speaking of which, um, I've actually... I like to apologize for episode 11, guys, which is, um, I'm going to call it the, the lost episode once I get it up. Yeah, I know it's kind of weird to have, you know, because cause I know that every, like, like almost every show, or, or at least, like, not every show, but a lot of shows in the past, they basically have, like, always have it, at some point, they have, like, a secret episode called the lost episode that they only show in, like, certain places, I guess, I don't know. Like, for instance, uh, the Spongebob Squarepants TV show itself has a lost episode. And I actually, I have not seen that episode in such a long time, at least up until recently. I don't remember how recent it was. Like, I think it was, like, maybe, like, sometime last week or the week before. But, yeah, I actually, um, one, one of these weekends, a couple weekends back, I actually watched it for the first time in what must be a few years, because... I don't remember, I don't know why, but for some reason when I watched it, I felt like I hadn't watched it in so long. And you get that feeling and like, go, hey, I remember this, but it feels like it's been such a long time since I've seen this, you know? I don't know. I don't know how else to put it, but yeah, it's pretty much how I, f how I felt when I saw it recently. But yeah, this is not a TV show, this is just, bit, just an LP here, so I don't know why I get a lost episode. Just, I get one for being stupid, basically. Actually, no. I get one because my stu my computer be my cu my era, my computer is being stupid. So I don't know why people keep on blaming me for that. That was the that was the number one thing that disappointed me about that video is that people were blaming blaming the whole thing on me. It wasn't my fault. Actually, it's my computer's fault for misplacing the files. So 
Don't get angry at me. Get angry at my computer. All right. But again, again, then again, you also shouldn't because, well, this, if not for this computer, I wouldn't be able to bring you guys these videos. But we're only 10 minutes in, so that means that you guys will get to see me star Gula Goon this episode. Hooray! Yay! Fireworks and whatnot. No. Let's just talk to... Let's talk to Larry and get our bus ticket. And at this point, the max amount of jellyfish you can have is 67. Um... So obviously, if you're not going for 100%, you're... The only amount of jellyfish you're not going to collect is 17, which is not, not a lot, so... Pretty much, once you're hunting for jellyfish for Larry, you're gonna have to search high and low because you you can only miss 17 basically after you do the the jellyfishing contest. But anyways, let's talk to Larry and get our bus ticket. For the last time, I'm not giving away my extra bus ticket. Dang it! I'm not here for your measly ticket, Larry. No, oh, I was just taking a long stroll to think of all the ways I can use these jellyfish. There's jellyfish jam and jellyfish jambalaya, candy jellyfish and jelly pot pie, tentacle twists and jelly pops. I can't stand it anymore. Take the bus ticket and hand over those jellyfish. Sorry about the guys. I had to take a little slug of water. <laughs> That's really what my coach calls it. He called, like um whenever we're in the middle of. In the middle of a workout. Oh, and by the way, we have the Gula Goon bus ticket. And yes, it's gold. Hooray, it's yellow. It's a yellow bus ticket. And let's not do that. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, off we go to Gula Goon, the second to the last level of the game. So, um, I am multi classic. No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm going to do that to you guys. Not 12 minutes in this episode. Let's start the new world off. Here we go. Gula Goon. I'll finish what I was saying once we get past this intro cutscene level. Goo Lagoon, the sand, the surf. There is nothing like being at the ocean. Except being under the ocean. Because you're already under the ocean. Anyways, um, what I was going to say before is that um, my coach, um, he always... Let's just say my coach is a crazy old man. That's basically what he is. And... Um, he, like, usually we get a chance to drink water in between workouts, and for whatever reason, he call, he always calls it a slug, get a slug of water, basically is what he says. I always found that kind of interesting, how he, how he calls it a slug of water, because slugs are disgusting. You would not want to get a slug that's filled with water, that's for sure. Because, I don't know, maybe that's just me, because slugs are, bleh. They basically have mucus under them, so, yeah. Anyways, at least that's what I heard, is that... But their slime is actually... Basically, it's just mucus, pretty much. The same goes for Gary, basically. Because Gary's a snail. And... Where am I going with this? What the hell? Okay. Um, so, basically, this is Goolagoon. And, um... Basically, what you're going to be dealing with in this level is, well, for one thing, you got these stupid lifeguards. Like, not only that, these lifeguards are so, so hilarious. Like, look what happens when you walk up to one of them. Hey, no running on the beach. <laughs> it's just, they always say something like, totally ram it. I don't know why I find these so funny, but I just couldn't help it. I mean, yeah, I used to laugh at these all the time. It's like, what the fuck? Do you just get, like, take, like, steroids and come back to life or something? I don't know. Let's just kill him for doing that, because steroids, taking steroids is wrong, dude. That just gets you down in the... I don't know... What the f oh, no. I don't know what I was going to say there, so sorry about that, guys. Alright. Let's switch to the Reef Blower costume now, because um, you're actually going to need that as you're going through this level, because um, basically we got all these um, fans and all these umbrellas. And in order to get these umbrellas moving so you can use them as efficient platforms, you have to hit the fans under them. Which will basically cause them to move in a, in a way that allows... Like, basically turns them into platforms you can easily move between. So, um... I'm just gonna go through a level, basically. That's the, this is usually what I do first when I get to Google Goon. I just, uh... I'm actually go through a level with my Reef Blower. Hey, and no blow the all the fans in the, in the world. Oh, God, that sounded wrong. 
if you're thinking about a different kind of fan, not not this kind of fan, but different kind. Oh god. Let's just forget what I said there, because that was ridiculous. Like, I feel disgusted with myself right now. Like, I've, I've said more dirty jokes in this episode, probably, than I ever have in any other episode of any LP I've ever done in my life. So, on that, I'm, I apologize for that, guys. Or whoever's watching this. <clears throat> oh, look, it's Larry. Hey, Larry. What's up, dude? Thanks for getting us here. Might as well thank him. Gee, Larry, this place is ocean swell. Thanks again for loaning me your extra ticket. Well, 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 look what the tide washed in. It's that dude who catches jellyfish. Try to keep your distance, okay? I don't want my friends to see us talking together. Oh, sure thing, Larry. But can you tell me where you got that belt? It's got a really nifty letter tile on it. You mean my championship belt? I won this at the Goo Lagoon Tough Man Tournament. Now stop talking with me, okay? People might see us. What if I just sing to you? Then maybe no one will notice. Oh, there once were two fellows who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the lighthouse. Hey, you embarrassed to... What? Wait, what? You're embarrassed to be seen with me? In public? Dude, come back here, Larry. I'm, I'm gonna blow you with my... No, I'm just kidding. God. Can, dude, can we stop with the stupid... Stupid dirty jokes. So that would be nice, okay? I'm sure there's some people out there who Are don't want to hear that. Trouble? Hear that kind of crap. So let's just get off of that and start being normal. So, anyways, I, I'm pretty sure we got every every umbrella and gulagoon moving. So let's now switch to the jellyfishing costume because pretty much now at this point that's what we're gonna be using is because well we basically got everything we got everything we need in Goo Lagoon besides me falling into the goo because no episode's complete without that I'm still never gonna get that an ocean under an ocean it's oceanception hooray that's basically what we're playing at this point once we're once you're in this level in every Spongebob game whether it's Battle for Bikini Bomb or Revenge of the Flying Dutchman it's always o Oceanception. Of course, I should have said I should have I should have said that, pointed that out when I was doing Battle for Bikini Bomb. So, so yeah. So, um, you may have noticed I've also been collecting sand dollars, and I don't know why I've been waiting this long to point this out. But the um, thing is that for each of these sand dollars I pick up, there actually were ten sand dollars, which is kind of weird. So basically, technically, I've only got 14 sand dollars technically right now, but since they're in tens, it's actually 140, and that's very important because you're actually for the second time and the only other time in the entire game, you're actually going to be paying for something as crazy as it is, and of course, they're going to want sand dollars from you. The doubloons, however, they serve no other purpose besides for getting 100%. And just for just to get some of the layer tiles. Other than that, the doubloons in this game are pretty much useless, and they serve no purpose whatsoever. So that's one thing that was got to me. Well, not really, but still. Um, if you want to be a, a dick bag and destroy, no, I mean a douche bag, and destroy, you know, these kids' awesome little sand sand castles, you'll the game will actually reward you for doing that with a doubloon, which is pretty dumb. You should not be rewarded for destroying precious artwork by little kids. That's definitely not okay. <laughs> but, but what you should be rewarded for is collecting money and jellyfish. We're just sucking all the wildlife out of their natural habitat, that's for sure. Of course, then again, this is not really their natural habitat. This is Goo Lagoon, not Jellyfish Field. So I guess I do have a point there as well. So... Let's just uh, continue collecting jellyfish. I don't know what else is going to talk about in this episode. In fact, come to think of it, we're actually coming up on the time now. Because we're 19 and a half minutes at this point. So, um, unfortunately, that's going to that's gonna have to be the end of this episode. End of this lovely episode of Let's Play Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. So, next time, we're going to continue on through Goo Lagoon. I know we're, not gonna, we're definitely not going to be done with it. But we are going to be moving on. So, with that in mind, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Revenge of Flying Dutchman. Um, 
Thanks for watching episode 13. Pretty sure it's see. No, this is episode 14. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.